we're going to go over the steps on how to update your ECU to the latest software. If you've had your Phytech EFI system for a couple of years, chances are we have a software update. If there is a software update for you, our tech team will be able to provide that to you and visit episode number 53 on how to get that software onto your handheld. Now that you have that software onto your handheld, you're ready to take the handheld to the vehicle, plug it in, and load that software in. Now that we're back at the vehicle, plug in the handheld, key on on the vehicle so we can connect the handheld to the ECU. At that point, we're gonna scroll down in the handheld to display setup. Inside display setup, near the bottom, we're gonna find an option called ECU programmer. You'll see to the right, it's marked as hide. We're gonna click left or right on the directional pad on the new style handheld or left or right on the joystick of the old style handheld to make this say show. Once it says show, we can go back to the main menu and scroll down to the very bottom. You will now have a new menu called ECU Programmer. When we go into the menu ECU Programmer, depending on the kit that you have, you'll either have one file or a list of files. With the Ultimate LS systems, you'll have a list. You'll select one that matches closest to your vehicle, so whether it's a 24 or 58 tooth reluctor, and whichever transmission you're using. With every other unit, there's a single file. We're gonna select that file. It's gonna pop up a window that says push button to start. Be sure that your key is still in the on position. Hit the OK button or enter on the joystick of the old style handheld and allow that file to load. Once the software has finished loading, we can key off and we're gonna leave the key off for 30 seconds. We're also gonna unplug and plug in the handheld to reboot the handheld. Once the 30 seconds is complete, we can then key back on and go through our initial setup. The one unfortunate thing when moving to the latest version of software is your calibrations can't be transferred over. So at this point, we'll just have to go through that initial setup plug in our parameters again, fire up the engine, and allow the system to start tuning itself. One of the biggest things to remember when loading the firmware into the system is do not interrupt power to the ECU or the connection of the handheld to the ECU at any point in time. If this happens and connection is broke momentarily, there is a potential that you can brick the ECU, which basically means the handheld will not communicate with it and there is nothing that can be done other than replacing that ECU. So be sure to hook it up, maybe set down the handheld and push the OK button when loading and just let it be until the load is finished. So updating the Phytech EFI software to your ECU is that simple. I hope that answers any questions you have with this process. If you have any additional questions, please comment them down below or visit our website, phytechefi.com, for additional tech videos.